Hi, I'm Shah from African Born Adventures and I'm here to tell you why the 270 WSM is the ultimate African Plains game rifle. But first, hit that subscribe button for us. Welcome back to another episode of African Born Adventures. On this episode, we're going to quickly touch on um, some of the questions we've had. And we've actually had quite a few questions about our rifle setup and hunting setup we've got. Before we get into it, I thought I'd just quickly explain and tell you how we came to the setup. And um, that will shed some clarity on what we do and how we do it. Years ago, uh, we were looking for a bit of a solution to hunt um, your African Plains game at slightly longer ranges. Some of the areas that we hunt, um, the bush is really, really thick and you struggle to get much closer, um, closer than 250, 300 meters. And um, the rifles we were using at the time uh, weren't quite set up to uh, shoot those longer ranges. And so a little bit of homework. It was during the hype of the 6.5 Creedmoor and we started looking around, but unfortunately none of the uh, shops had rifles chambered in the 6.5 Creedmoor. So I approached a local reloading guru at one of our shops here and uh, he directed me into uh, the direction of the 270 WSM. On paper, immediately the rifle impressed me, started scratching around and eventually found um, a Sacco rifle uh, chambered in the, into the 270 uh, WSM. Quickly made the purchase and then the reloading game started. This is my baby. Right here. It has taken so many African Plains games, animals, and it keeps on impressing me over and over again. As you can see, this particular barrel is not a bull barrel, it's a standard barrel. Uh, it's light enough to carry around all day. Um, if I replace it, I might go with a uh, slightly heavier barrel, possibly fluted. Um, I think the rifle barrel's probably got another couple hundred shots in it, maybe. I say this barrel's probably had about somewhere between 1,400 and 1,500 uh, bullets through it. It's still grouping perfectly, um, so it's not the caliber's not too heavy on, on the barrel, like some of the other barrel burning calibers. We've topped it with a Lynx 5x30x56 scope. Um, yes, it is quite a biggish scope. Um, but it's got fantastic clear optics on it. It's got nice big uh, knobs, audible clicks. It's ideal for me. We fit it with a Warrior suppressor. It reduces the recoil so much so that my 13 year old son can shoot with it. Um, it is the recoil is very very manageable. Um, if you haven't seen it, here's the clip of him shooting a mounted rebuck with it. So initially we started our reloading process and we loaded 140 grain barns, TSX 140 grains. We shot them at 3050 feet per second. They proved to be devastating on African Plains game. Whoa. It impressed me immediately. Obviously, Barnes is known for weight retention and uh, the construction of the bullet being excellent. It held together fantastic, even on your larger bone animals. And um, I was immediately impressed. Unfortunately, with COVID, um, some supply chains were interrupted and I was forced to seek alternative. And we found the 140 grain um, Nosler Acubons and um, we reloaded some of them, found a grouping at a speed of 3,200 feet per second and accuracy was fantastic. And we've continued to shoot them for the last probably three years, two and a half, three years and they have impressed me. We have shot numerous kudus, uh, blue wildebeers, fellow deer and so forth. We have taken many, many large animals um, the biggest animals we generally take is your kudu size animal or your blue wildebeest. If you want to know if a rifle is capable, you test it on the poor man's buffalo which is your blue wildebeest. This rifle has taken quite a few. 
um, and we actually have some nice impact shots on those to show you. Mm. Nice. One of my all-time favorites is kudu. We all love hunting kudu. But if you've hunted enough kudu, you'll know that it's a tricky animal. They often do exactly what you expect them not to do. And they pop up at longer ranges or you've got to be prepared for the unexpected. And you've got to be prepared to take longer shots because that's often how things just work out. This rifle has impressed me on kudu. I've taken quite a few kudu bulls with it, big bulls with it. And every time, if I do my part, I place the shot correctly, they don't go far. Here's some shots on some kudu. <laughs> Straight down. Perfect shot. Perfect shot. It's running downhill. It's going down. Down. We don't hunt dangerous game. Uh, we only hunt planes game. But for what we hunt, this is the ultimate solution for me. I own a 6.5 and I own a 306. And um, both of them have got uh, their strengths, but also their weaknesses. Um, the 306 has got a very moderate velocity. Um, you're kind of lobbing those in there. Yes, you can do it accurately, but I prefer this rifle. It um, shoots much flatter and um, the recoil is a lot more manageable, therefore also more accurate in my eyes. Although I ended up getting a 6.5 later on, after this one, uh, more for long range uh, target shooting and just plinking around. Uh, it does have some limitations, yes it is accurate, but I find it a little bit, little bit on the lighter side for your bigger game animals like your kudu and your wildebeest. Uh, I might take a little bit of criticism, criticism for that, but uh, just by pure experience um, and having some friends uh, shoot 6.5s, uh, Creedmoors and uh, the 55s, it tends to be a little bit light on your bigger game. Just for comparison, I've taken uh, the three runs out to show you. This is your 6.5. That's your 270 WSM. And that is your 306 with 180 grain head. You'll notice the powder capacity versus the 6.5. Um, it's quite a bit more. In actual fact, it's 10 grains more than my 306. And shooting a, a smaller diameter projectile with that amount of powder behind it gives you a lot of knockdown power. Now you might say, Charles, sure, yes, all good and well. It performs fantastic on your bigger African Plains game. What about the smaller game? Game like your Springbuck, Mount Rebuck, uh, and of course Warthog, which we hunt plenty of. Well, if I do my part and I place the shot correctly, um, the meat damage is minimal. Using a premium grade head, obviously the reduces as well, the bullet's not going to break up on you. Uh, with the added velocity, it is important to shoot a decent head. And when we're shooting an animal, I try and shoot it just behind the shoulder, through the ribs, heart lung area, and then your meat damage is absolute minimal. This is absolute Without a doubt, one of the top calibers for African Plains game in my mind. Just with the speed, accuracy, uh, the flat shooting uh, trajectory. It's hard to beat. Minimum recoil uh, versus the 300 calibers. And um, it's, it would take a lot to convince me otherwise. I often shoot my 6.5. Uh, I haven't shot actually my 306 in a while. It's been sitting in the cupboard um, gathering dust. And um, it's just this rifle is potent at 50 meters, 
it's got enough uh, knockdown power at 450 meters to put a kudu down. My self-imposed limit on the larger game is 450 meters and on the smaller game 400 meters. This is purely for personal reasons. Um, there's so much that can go wrong at your longer distances. An animal can take a step forward or move and um, so much can go wrong. Now I'm sure lots of you have got your favorite rifles but I'm gonna go out on the limb here and say that this for me is the ultimate African Plains game uh, rifle combination. Anything from your Springbuck right up to your Kudu Bewildebeers. We've taken heaps of fellow deer, blessed buck impala, um, even a zebra or two with it and have had absolutely no issues. In conclusion, that is our opinion on the 270 WSM. We've used it extensively over the last couple of years for hunting. And if you've had any experience with hunting with this caliber, we'd love to hear from you in the comments below. If you've got another caliber that you think is more suitable, we'd also like to hear from you. Till next time.